Hello everybody, welcome to the Generic Cappy YouTube channel. I hope you're all doing well and staying safe. I'm Amar, otherwise known as Generic Cappy, and today we are reacting to Nintendo's newest announcement being a Xenoblade Chronicles X Definitive Edition. They just announced this, which is very, very exciting. Um, I know a lot of us were expecting maybe to see the Switch 2 today, but they surprised us with something much more different and much more interesting with the Xenoblade Chronicles X Definitive Edition. I am very excited to watch this trailer. I did have the game on the Wii U previously. I got it when it came out, but I never really played too much of it. I also have the strategy guide for it. So um, hopefully the strategy guide still applies to this version because I do want to put a lot more time into this one than I was able to with the Wii U version. That is all I really have to say right now. Uh, you know, we let's watch the trailer, see what they have to do. I mean, see what they have to show about the game. And I also have the website open so we can look at that right after this. But let's get right to it. Let us watch the trailer for Xenoblade Chronicles X Definitive Edition. Uh, very, very interesting. Let's see. Rating pending. Monolith Soft. So a new, mo like the... Like another game from Monolith Soft. Very cool, very cool. The game looks absolutely beautiful. Like it looks amazing. It looked amazing on the Wii U. It definitely still looks really cool here. So very cool, very cool. Los Angeles. Yep. I mean, this game is really awesome. Uh, I, it's like, this was like one of the first types of open world games I've ever played. So that, I think that's what really appealed to me uh, back then. But now... I've played a couple, but this game still looks really good. And it's really fun. Wow. Looks amazing. All right. So they're kind of showing some of the plot here. Yep. The mechs. I mean, they're like exoskeletons or exoskulls. But very cool. Yep. Like Xenoblade X Definitive Edition. All right, I I mean that was a pretty, pretty. No, I guess that's not it. Okay, that's not it for the trailer. Okay, I'm not really sure what that may have been in a like a, a loading too, but still, looked really cool. That looks like a really awesome thing. Honestly, I did not expect to see. Uh, Xenoblade Chronicles X get a port on the Switch. I thought that would have been like a Switch 2 or Switch successor game, like a new, like a port. It did, it ran well on the Switch. I mean, not the Switch, the Wii U, but it did have a bunch of data packs. And I wonder if they'll still have data packs here. Um, probably not because you, you, if they need to, I guess they've made it a larger game. I guess we'll have to see, but, um, it had like data packs and stuff. So it didn't. It wasn't like the most optimized, I guess, for the Wii U. So I thought the Switch may have also had issues with it, but still, I, I thought it would be like a Switch accessory game, but no, it is a Switch one game, which is really cool. Um, the trailer looked really good. I didn't play enough of it to really understand a lot of what they were just talking about. And again, I played it close to a decade ago, but um, it, looks, it still looks really awesome. It still looks really cool like it did all those years ago in 2015 but um yeah let us get right to the website i think i have it open but they also probably should have a link here for it um i guess we can go through nintendo.com and go to right there okay so 
It says on the website, rebuild humanity on the mysterious plant mir planet Mira in this action RPG. The year is 2054. Earth has been destroyed by an intergalactic war between two alien races and humanity is on the brink of annihilation. A, number of a small number of survivors aboard the USS White Whale crash land on the vast and untamed planet Mira and now, and now it falls to you as a member of Blade to help bring humanity back from the edge of extin extinction with the aid of powerful giant robots called Scales. The visually enhanced version of the, this open world RPG contains newly added story elements and more. The Xenoblade Chronicles X Definitive Edition is coming to the Nintendo Switch system on March 20th, which I will get into in a minute. Because I did kind of mention that in the video I uploaded yesterday that we didn't really have anything after January. Now we have something going into March, which is really cool. Take on tough foes in a robust custom combat system and pilot giant... Oh, wait, wait, read that. I think no I guess I guess they just they said the same thing and powerful and pilot powerful giant robots called scales choose from a huge variety of special attacks skills and classes in a combat system that's as deep as you want it to be once you've proven yourself to blade you'll earn the right to pilot and pers personalize your own scale a trap a powerful machine that can fly transform into a vehicle for for fast overland travel and wield immense power in combat with customizable weapons, gather resources and take on missions to build the community of New Los Angeles. As you go about your reconstruction effort, getting to know the people of New Los Angeles uh, and LA, you'll build affinity with your party members and unlock quests for gear and other rewards. Join your military organization within Blade to take on even more missions or even team up with over with up to 32 players for from near and far online in squad task online missions and extra challenging global nemesis battles. So I guess I think that was also in the Wii U version. I think I believe obviously. Um I didn't really do a lot of that, but I believe there was the online stuff. Um I'm not sure if maybe the global nemesis battles are new. I'm, I'm assuming they're probably going to add some new stuff there. It's glad I'm glad to see that they're bringing back the online stuff and online uh, mechanisms with it. You can receive a 14 day free code trial for NSO if you buy the digital version, which is really cool. Um, they might include that also in the physical version like they did with Mario Party, but uh, we'll have to see about that. And that is really it. That is all that is um, really out there about the game. Obviously, it is a definitive edition, so most of the game is widely available in terms of like if you want to watch the story or anything. But yeah, uh, I'm very excited for this. Again, I made that video yesterday about the uh, pre-reveal of the Switch successor because I thought maybe it would happen this week, and I guess it could still. But um, I, I had mentioned that you know we didn't have a game after January, I think January 26th of next year. And now we do. We have a Xenoblade Chronicles X Definitive Edition coming out on March 20th, 2025. Yeah, very, very cool. Very exciting. Uh, I'm very much looking forward to uh, at least starting back the game. I don't know how far I'll get into it again. Um, I hope to get farther in it than I get, did with the Wii U version. But um, yeah, that is all I really have for you all today. Um, I will still try to have a couple of more videos this week, depending on what's happening. Um, you know, we're still pretty early into the week, so... Um, yesterday, Nintendo announced NSO games for the Halloween season, which is very exciting. But um, yeah, again, that is all I have for you all today. So I hope you all enjoyed this reaction. I hope you all, if you're getting Xenoblade Chronicles X Definitive Edition, put it down in the comments below. But without further ado, I'll see you in the next one. Make sure it makes you happy because I rhymes with Cappy. And goodbye.